In an amazing gesture of support, the Shrewsbury and Newport Canals Trust has been gifted a pair of historic working boats by their owner, Roger White, and he knew almost nothing of the Trust's work until recently. The boats, built in 1936 by Harland and Wolfe on the Thames at Woolwich, are Bainton and Buckhampstead, a pair of town class or big Woolwich boats that were designed to work together from the start. There were just 24 pairs built of this class and it's little short of amazing that this pair have been brought back together after being scattered across the canal system and that they're now destined to play a key role in the Canal Trust's plan to restore the Shrewsbury and Newport canals. The vessels are currently on the Grand Union Canal at Weedon in Northamptonshire, but things are moving quickly and there are plans to steer them back through Birmingham to take pride of place at the canal's, Canal Trust's popular annual festival at Norbury Junction in early May. Roger White has gifted the vessels in trust to the charity because he wants to see them brought back to their former glory and he wants to make sure the boats are looked after and kept together as an original pair. Roger explained how he first came to own the boats. I heard about Braun's Canal Centre, so I went down there and he friendly me and he fell in love with the large Woolwich motor named Bainton. Right. And they were run, that was being run as a camping boat. Yes, yeah, so we were unicorn carriers. Yeah. yeah. And this was when in the. This was in the 76. Yeah. Yeah. So fairly holidays on the, on the, on the cut were sort of fairly primitive and not, not quite as developed as they, as they became, shall yeah. we say. Very primitive, <laughs> sort of bucket and chuck it sort of thing. <laughs> But you ended up buying Bainton rather than just working it. Yeah, I bought Bainton. Um, I was going to take it down south onto the way navigation, closer to home. Um, but I couldn't find a moron. So I decided to stay put and work through the firm, Unicorn and Carriers, yeah. and they got me the bookings. And I worked 10 years through yeah. right. And it was during that period that you came across um, Bainton's original butty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jump for joy when I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how that, how that happened. Well, I had a, a, a scout group called, and they wanted to go down the Northampton on. So we, we went down there, we turned the, the junction, Gate and Armory, where the Woodways had a workshop, and there was Burke Hampstead sitting in the water there, a bit, uh, a bit tatty, to say the least. Uh, went past, went down the locks, turned at the bottom on, on the river then, in front of the cardboard factory, came back in, stayed the night above the bottom lock, and then the following day came back up, and the boat was still there, but the name had been changed, whereas before the, the Burke Hamster was nicely sign written but a bit tatty because it had been on there a long time. Um, now it was named Air, A-Y-R, and it just been scrubbed out and quickly painted in in white. Yeah. Uh, so I thought, well, what's going on here? And I saw a chap working on his boat opposite and he told me into the story of what was going on. And this was, this was essentially a piece of backside covering for a mistake made down at yeah, Bull's Bridge, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if I hadn't have gone down there, down the Northampton Arm, that particular day, I would never have known yeah. that the boat had changed names. What were you told had happened to air? Well, I, I was told that uh, um, Burkhamster was due to be cut up. Uh, the air was going to be restored. Yeah. Um, but, so I was told the foreman had gone on holiday and they cut the wrong boat up. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody hastily shipped uh, Burke Hampstead up to Northamptonshire yeah, and, by cha road. <laughs> and changed the name. <laughs> yeah, but only not until I'd seen it. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, okay, that sounds quite credible. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, you, you decided to acquire it, but it took you a little while, I suppose, before yeah. British Waterways relinquished it. Well, it's been working on that section, carrying ballast, mm. camp pile and whatever. And, uh, I was always looking out for it if I went south and Braunston. Yeah. And then through the grapevine, I heard it was up on tender, and uh, so I applied. Although I shouldn't really have got a tender form because normally they only go to qualified boat companies. But a uh, tender form arrived, and uh, I put in the boat. And then I was a proud owner of. Air, as it was named then, and it wasn't too soon before yeah. I changed the name back in there. Yeah. So the original pair, pair that were built um, as a pair by Hound and Wolf. Back together again. Yeah. 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 And these are big boats, aren't they? These big villages. Yeah, I mean, seventy-one foot six. Yeah. 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 And Burkhamps um, was fitted yeah. out with an extended cabin. Hmm. And this is another thing to back up the fact that it was a perfect chemistry. And you spent quite a bit of money on them over the years. Well, yeah, new bottoms, yeah. Um, new counter on the motor, another engine. Yeah. Well, you fitted out, you were telling me tanks on the on yeah, the butty yeah. here for the toilet um, disposal. Double up of the toilet tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and eventually that sort of work must have run out, I suppose. The boats have, I know to my knowledge, have sat here for, for some years now. Uh, yes. <laughs> I sort of wave at them every yeah, time I come past. Yeah, think, are they ever going to move? <laughs> <laughs> so what have you decided to do? Um, my boats are now going to the trust. I've given the boats to the trust. Yeah. There's no, no money involved. I just want the boats to be looked after. And I want them to be kept together, yeah. and not to be separate. And the trust are going to work on them, bring them back up Storm, to their former yeah, glory. That's what I want, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it's just too much of a job. I'm not getting any younger, and I haven't got the financial no. capability to keep them going. Now, he believes the Shrewsbury and Newport Canal Trust can do that and give the boats another lease of life as a tool for teaching people about the history of the canals. David Ray, a director of Norbury Wharf Limited, owner of several historic narrowboats himself, and a trustee of the Canal Trust, has checked out the boats, and on his most recent visit, managed to get the engine running on Bainton, with help from Roger White and another trustee, and to take it out for a short trip down the canal. The first time Roger has been on a journey on the vessel for some years. Once volunteers have steered the pair up the Grand Union Canal to central Birmingham, a route they use to operate in their working boat days, they'll come down the Wolverhampton Flight of Locks and onto the Shropshire Union Canal to Norbury. Dave David Ray aims to do some checking on the hull in Norbury's dry dock and even get a bit of paint applied before the canal festival opens and the pair go on display to the public. In the longer term, the Canal Trust plans to have teams of volunteers working on the restoration of the boats under expert supervision and then to use them as part of its educational programme which aims to teach youngsters and adults about the history of the Shrewsbury and Newport canals and the working people and boats of the UK's unique canal system. It is possible that the boats may eventually be transported by land to Wappenshaw where the Canal Trust is already restoring a key canal basin and listed warehouses which are part of the old canal infrastructure and then become floating classrooms for visitors. <laughs>